What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Corey with Freaky Tall Reviews here and today we're going to be going over what I think is the best push mower for tall people. It's the Ego Power Plus 21 inch self-propelled 56 volt electric push mower. That was tough to get out. And while it's not cheap, it's a game changer for tall people with back pain. I got it a couple of years ago, so the model that you're gonna see me reviewing is a couple of years old, but current new models are virtually the same, so there's not gonna be a ton of difference to it. There's two reasons why I think it's perfect for a taller person, and I'll dive into those in just a little bit. And just for reference, I'm six foot 10 inches, so having a push mower that's comfortable for a tall person is very important to me. This Ego push mower is made with a plastic body, which sounds really weird at first, because normally you wouldn't want plastic on a mower, but it's actually super good quality and I have not had any issues with it shooting anything through the plastic. It is made for mowing. It uses a multi-blade system that has an extra blade versus a normal gas mower. It also uses a 56 volt, 10 amp hour battery that gives a runtime of about 75 minutes. That does vary depending on how thick the grass you're cutting is though. It uses a high efficiency brushless motor and it includes a grass collection and mulching bag. Some of the features of this push mower are actually really cool and not what you're gonna find on traditional gas mowers, such as a quick start with a button that requires no string pull. I love that, not having to yank on that string to get it started. You literally push the button, pull the lever, and it turns on. It has an adjustable cutting height of one and a half to four inches. It has LED headlights, which are kind of cool, but you don't really need them because I don't really mow at night. One of the really cool things that it does is that it folds up for compact storage so you can literally hang it on a wall. It comes in like at 40 pounds, so it's easy to pick up and move around with a couple carrying handles that it has. It has variable self-propelled speeds of 0.9 to 3.1 miles per hour. That's very important, and I'll share why in just a little bit. It also has an extending handle so that you're not to push from your waist. Now there's a lot of things that I really like about this mower, but let's dive into why I think it's great for tall people. First off, the handlebar height. Normal push mowers, that handlebar is gonna be around your waist. With the way that this handlebar is designed so that it arches up, and then also because it extends, it actually sits around my navel. Remember, I'm six foot 10, and so to have a push mower that sits high enough to where it actually feels kind of comfortable to push is a big deal. Anytime you're having to push something from waist height, that wears out your lower back, especially if you're having to mow a big yard. And that's already a big selling point for me with this mower. But where it really starts to shine for a tall person with lower back pain is with the self-propelled system. It goes up to 3.1 miles per hour, and that's almost too fast for me to keep up with. So when you add the combination of the handlebar height and it being self-propelled, you're barely pushing if at all, and it's from a height that is much more comfortable than traditional push mowers. I have used this mower for over an hour at a time, and at the end of it, my lower back is completely fine and not sore. Those are the two reasons that I love it for a tall person, but the rest of the reasons are really cool as well. It is extremely quiet versus a gas mower. You can literally almost have a conversation while you have it on. Like I said earlier, the folding design, absolutely fantastic. Very easy to store and put away. I put it vertically in my garage and it barely takes up any space. With a normal push mower, you have to leave it with the handlebar sticking way out. So you have to have a certain amount of space in order to store it. And also with a gas mower, you have to have a gas jug and oil around for maintenance and so that it can run. With this mower, there's none of that. There's barely any maintenance except for just cleaning it off. And so it reduces the footprint even more. And then actually starting the mower is one of the best parts. Like I said earlier, all you do, press the button, pull the handle, and it's on. No pull starting it, no carburetor season up or spark plugs going bad. It's super easy to get running immediately. Like I said, it does get about 75 minutes of runtime, and that's usually with it being self-propelled, but the thicker grass that you cut, the less runtime you're gonna get. I've said a lot of positives about this mower, but I do have one thing that I'm not the biggest fan of. It's marketed as being just as powerful as a gas mower. I will say that I did find its limit when I got into some really thick, wet grass. For a suburban lawn, it's absolutely perfect, but whenever you get out into the countryside and the grass starts to get a lot thicker, it can struggle a little bit. I will say that I don't think it's far off from a gas mower, but it just doesn't quite have that power. So does it get the Freak It's All stamp of approval? Absolutely. That's why I brought it to you today. I've had it for a couple of years now, so I've gotten tons of testing. You'll notice that what I'm reviewing is not brand new at all, but the fact that I can push mow and my lower back is not sore at all is phenomenal. But when you get to the price tag, is it actually worth that much? For me, because of the quality and all the features that you get with it, I think it is. If you have a bigger budget for a push mower, I think it's worth considering. The fact that it helps with lower back pain alone is huge. Between the self-propelled system and pushing at a higher handlebar height, that already is a big selling factor for me. But then you add all the other stuff into it, like it being able to fold up, the easy start, no gas. I think it all adds up and makes it worth it. So be sure to check the link in the description below so you can see it for yourself. And I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think this mower is actually worth this price tag? So thank you so much for stopping by today. And since we're in the middle of spring as this video is being released, I hope this video brought value to you. If it did, be sure to join the Freaky Tower Reviews family. I have a goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end 
end of 2022 and I've got a ways to go. So I need all the help I can get. So give it a thumbs up, click the notification bell. And most importantly, be sure to subscribe so that you see when new videos come out. Also, if you'd like to follow me outside of the channel, be sure to check out my Instagram and my Twitter. And if you wanna support the channel financially, check out the Freaky Tower Reviews Patreon. I use the funds from Patreon to save up for new products to review. And it would be really cool if you wanted to help out with that. But as always, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here and I greatly appreciate your time. Again, I'm Corey with Freaky Tower Reviews. We'll see you next time.